Hey, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, welcome to another video. I'm just going to show you a couple of games for tomorrow. There's a huge card for tomorrow in NCAA basketball. I just wanted to give you a couple of things to look for. Like, uh, let's say, for instance, let's start from number two. Starting this section right here. Now, everything in red are the teams that play tomorrow. So, I'm going to break all this down for you real, real, really quick. And hopefully, you can pretty much make some good wagers and win a couple dollars for the upcoming Christmas season. So here we go. Let's start with Ohio State or Idaho. Ohio. Wow. Idaho State. I've been looking at numbers all day. So forgive me if I chop up some of these teams names. But these teams right here are the worst in offensive efficiency. So Idaho, Sac State, Hampton, VCU, uh, Central Arc. These teams are the worst. Now, obviously, you have a couple other teams that's in here that pretty much are worse, are the bottom of the barrel when it comes to offense efficiency. This is the worst. So you have Mississippi Valley. You have uh, Central Arc. Also, you have Central Arc over here. You have, let's see, Mississippi Valley over here. You got Omaha over here. So those three teams... And there are a couple other teams that I've written down. One second. Uh, Maine plays tomorrow. Maine. And I believe that's the three teams you definitely want to look at uh, for tomorrow to actually fade those teams. Especially if they give them a... If they definitely give them a low number like a two or a three. You're definitely looking to fade those. Obviously, you still have to look... To see who they have played to make sure that they are the bottom of the barrel team as far as uh, strength of schedule go. But those are the teams to look for. Also, uh, Baylor, Arkansas, West Virginia, Tennessee, UAB, Connecticut, ABL, Christian, so on and so forth. Uh, the second chance opportunities, if they are getting anything like a maybe a three or four in the spread, you definitely want to take a look at the second chance opportunities, especially if the stats are extremely close with these teams in red that are playing tomorrow. I know I'm real huge on St. Louis, but yeah, you definitely want to look at that. Ohio. Um, also, uh, defensive efficiency. These are the worst in defensive efficiencies. So again, just take a look real fast. I don't know if you can do, do a snapshot of this stuff. I wish I could get this stuff out to you guys. Also, I added my Twitter. Um, I throw some most of the stuff on uh, my Twitter is betting wisely at betting wisely on Twitter. I probably post this on it if you're uh, watching this video. Also, uh, above average in offensive efficiency. So the lower the offensive efficiency. So everything on here is above average. I think it starts at Hawaii. Looking at them, Hawaii is actually the lowest as far as above average. Yep, Hawaii. And then from up there, it goes up. And it just gets better going up. It's the opposite for defensive efficiency. One second. Let me go back up. So it's the opposite for defensive efficiency. This is the top team as far as a defensive efficiency goes, uh, below average. So these teams, as the further down you go, the worse they get as far as uh, defensive efficiency is concerned. Uh, there was a one team, I believe it was a game for tomorrow. You have, let's say for instance, yeah, right here. So it's Indiana State versus Miami, Ohio. What is it? Miami, Ohio. Or was it? One second. I have to look at the card. But. Indiana State versus that Miami team. I believe it was uh I believe it was Miami, Ohio. That was a game I'm definitely betting Miami on, especially with the low defensive efficiency from Indiana State. Also, you know, you have to look at the game, see who they played to make sure. Cause me, I kind of evaluate like this. I look at all right, why are they so low? I look at the games they play. I mean, if you're playing a bunch of top rank uh, NCAA basketball teams, obviously, yeah, you, you might be a little low. I think you face, you know, a regular team that's kind of like, oh, yeah, Miami, Ohio. I think that's who they face. And then you face a couple regular teams, and then it's kind of like, uh, what's going on here? So it doesn't, wait a minute. 
have to look that up. This is my I mean Ohio place. Oh, you know what it is? It probably didn't get it because of the parentheses. Yeah. So that's probably why it's not marked red. So uh going back into what I was saying. So yeah, you look at some of these teams and you're like, all right, uh above average. So like I said, anything in red, so this is actually supposed to be in red, but again, yeah. It didn't happen because of the parentheses, and it didn't really match up with that. But everything else should be legit. Uh, let's go to uh, three-point shooting teams. You know me. I like to uh, all the three-point shooting teams. If they're all together, if they're playing against each other, I like to look geared towards the over, especially if they are um, high in pace as well. Also, uh, what do we have? We have above average in possessions. I'm probably going to put more teams over here, uh, depending. I'll probably do that for next time, next week. But getting into these W, um, not W, uh, NCAA basketball, I'm definitely going to put out more videos of this stuff, especially since I can get this stuff um, to you a lot quicker. Is it Miami, Florida or Miami, Ohio that they play? It might be Miami, Florida that they play. I don't know. But also here's another thing you kind of want to look at. Uh, you got below average in defensive efficiency. Actually, let's go to below average in offensive efficiency. So these teams are below average in offensive efficiency and you kind of want to look at teams that are above average in defensive efficiency playing against those teams, which gives you another edge to definitely bet against or for a certain team after you look at their roster or their schedule to see who they play and who they have. So that's pretty much it. Um, there are a couple games. I still have to piece together the games, but everybody in red, like I said, is playing uh, this week. So this definitely will give you the best opportunity to actually make a good bet. And I'm just scrolling down. Yep, getting all the way to the bottom. So, yep. Everything in red, you see these teams are playing. You can look in the video. I tr I'm going to try to post this on Twitter, like I said. But, yeah. So, that's what I have today. Um, again, all we can do right now, especially if you're betting multiple games in the NCAA basketball, is go off of stats. So, the best stats you have, the better and I've been hitting. I've been hitting. Um, I'm. I had like a four game, three game parlay that I put together. I missed by one. That was the Villanova game. And to tell you the truth, I didn't do my research on that game. I kind of just you know made the bet because you know it was Villanova and they were high in threes. I was expecting the offense to get off, and they really didn't. But all the other teams, like these middle teams, I, I've been hitting. I've been hitting. So, you know, making $5 bets just to test out the product, and it's been, it's been kind of lucrative. So, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. But keep watching. I'm going to put out uh, some of the picks I like, maybe on Twitter. Like I said, uh, Twitter should be in the description if you want to uh, follow my Twitter and all the picks I'm going to put out. Because for some reason, I don't think you guys can get this information real quick if I put out a video on YouTube. But if I do it on Twitter, you definitely could get it when I tweet it. So like, subscribe, share, follow. Also hit me up on Twitter to get the picks that I'm picking for tomorrow. There's going to be a bunch of them. I'm just trying to collect all this information in and come up with the best picks possible. I'm going to try to at least get 10 of them. And like I said, I've been hitting, but... Again, like, subscribe, share, and again, bet wisely. Appreciate you guys. Later.